Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maya Royo and I teach creative people how to sell their art online. In today's video, I'm going to do something that I promised myself that I'm going to do at the beginning of each and every month. And it's going to be to go over my monthly goals. So I'll be going over my goals from last month, which is February that just ended. And I'm going to talk about which one of the goals have I met, which one I haven't and why. I'm also going to be sharing some information about what I did that month that wasn't planned and give a bit of my goals for March. Now, I got a lot of messages regarding my last vlog on the end of January, basically February 1st, and people were asking, like, to some people this sounded like not much of a job or something. I'm an online freelancer. I have been for the past five and a half years, and these goals that, sh that are shown in this vlog are not my full job. So I do have work that I do with clients. I have other affiliate blogs that are already running. I have clients that I teach, uh, whether it's graphic design, marketing, um, website development, I build WordPress websites for other people and Shopify stores. So I do have a job. However, my main goal for 2021, and basically this goal would be that in 2022, I don't need to take on clients, which means that what I make for myself from passive income would be my entire income that would be sufficient for me. And if I want to take a client from the outside, that's good enough. And I do have to stop here and say something about passive income, which I think I should probably make a whole video about. Passive income does not mean work very little and make a lot of money. Passive income is the fact that when a client or someone buys your product or service, you don't have to physically do something. So if, for example, you sell printable wall art on Etsy, you make the design and you upload it. Whenever someone buys it, they just get the item. You don't need to do anything. Same goes for print on demand, whether you're doing it with Shopify, with Etsy, or on Redbubble or Society6, Zazzle, Fine Art America, whatnot. A lot of people think that passive income means not working, and that's super not true because you are, you're working a lot, you're working on your marketing, you're working on your products. The only difference is, is that if you sell a physical product or you give a physical service to someone, for example, myself, let's say a person contacts me because they want to be my client and they want to have a WordPress website and they pay me money and I give them my time in making that website. Same thing goes if you are actually literally physically making products and selling them on Etsy. Let's say you're making a necklace and now, while I do really appreciate my WordPress development skills, if I get 50 people who want me to build their website in one month, I probably wouldn't be able to do it because I don't have enough time because whenever someone wants my product, I need to put in my time. The way that passive income works is that you put in your time first and it stays there. So for example, you make a design and you upload it onto Society6 or Redbubble or your print on demand Etsy shop. And if someone were to buy one of your designs from Redbubble, you don't have to do anything. In fact, the amount of work that you put into that specific design is not going to change if one person bought it or 20. And that is my goal for 2021. And that is my reason why I'm starting this vlog. I think it's more for myself, but I've heard other people commenting, uh, mostly on Instagram about previous blog, um, that it really helped them get things organized in their heads as to what they want to do. So my main goals for 2022 is to only rely on income that I get from marketplaces like Redbubble, Society6, Etsy, whatnot, and also my affiliate marketing blogs and this YouTube channel, should it start making me money, that would be awesome. I'm going to cut down on the blah, blah and move on to my February goals and have I met them. So my first goal for February was to take two websites live, which is the Mahjong art blog and the thinkwallart.com blog. And I don't know if you've seen my video from yesterday, but it was four hours till the end of the month and Think Wall Art went live. Now, the thing is, it went live, but I'm still going to be updating posts, hopefully on a daily basis for the rest of I don't want to say my life, but for the next few years. So this is an ongoing project that I finally, finally launched. And I wanted to upload a Mahjong art blog because it corresponded with my second goal, which is an Etsy shop that revolves around printable Mahjong wall art and printable Japanese and Chinese symbol art. 
which I wanted to achieve 20 sales in. I mentioned in my February goals that I need to take a sign and put it on the wall, like, don't forget your Etsy store. So I didn't do it and I forgot my Etsy store. And not only that, but the more that I'm being on YouTube and I want to give people value and I want to show people things that they can do, the more I realize that this goal of opening this Etsy store for printables on a very, very weird to a lot of people niche is not going to be something that I can use to showcase and display to others. And I dropped that concept. Instead, I'm doing something that is more of a watercolor kind of thing. I'm trying to combine wall art and greeting cards. And I will move on to that later on when I'm talking about my March goals. But my Mahjong art blog, I did not meet that goal. And I did not reach 20 sales on this Etsy shop because that Etsy shop does not exist anymore. My third goal was to make eight YouTube videos. And uh, I wrote here in my diary that I did 13, but the fact is that yesterday I uploaded another one and I count that one, even if it's short. So I actually made 14 videos instead of eight. And my other goal, my fourth goal was to reach 200 subscribers. And as of 12 o'clock last night, I had 398. That's almost double. <laughs> I, I, honestly, I, I don't even believe it. I mean, I was on the phone with my best friend last night because I'm doing this goal setting with her. And I was like, this is insane. Uh, and I was thinking, is it because I succeeded more than I thought I would? Or maybe I just don't, like this is my second month on YouTube. So maybe this is how this platform works. And I was looking into YouTube analytics and 80% of the traffic comes from YouTube and not from whatever I'm posting on groups or anything. And I'm like, what? This is insane. I don't know if you can see this, but I can't take the smile off my face. So to all of you who commented and seriously, I mean, I'm looking at things. I don't even mind how many people view a video because I have some videos that don't have a lot of views but the comments of some people on them are amazing. It's like you can see that someone actually saw your video, that someone cares about what you have to say. And to me, this is an amazing feeling. And one of the reasons why I wanted to open this channel is because this last few months have been really lonely and I can't even stress enough how amazing all of you guys are. So thank you. <laughs> My fifth goal, it wasn't really my fifth goal because on the February goals video, I mentioned that I wrote down Fiverr with like two question marks because my Fiverr profile has been on vacation mode for high, I don't know how long and it is still on vacation mode. I was thinking maybe I will bring it live this month and go back to designing and doing uh, Etsy shop critiques and doing all kinds of things that I do there, but I, I don't think I will have the time. And honestly, I want to reflect a bit on what's going on here because while I was doing all these things it's like the goals that I have for myself keep changing along with this YouTube channel and it's not just about the Etsy goal that I basically didn't upload designs that I thought that let's say I want to make an Etsy tutorial and I want to do something I want to upload it I want to use it I want to do something that I can use myself and if I'm going to have a mahjong or Japanese symbol wall art store, I'm not going to be able to do that. So in many ways, having a YouTube channel prevented me from achieving some of these goals because I was yet to know what I want to be talking about in the YouTube channel. But the thing is that it helped me achieve other goals. When I started this YouTube channel about two months ago, I think I had like 30 designs on Redbubble for the past four and a half years and they were selling well. I mean, they had their own marketing stuff and they were very niche, so they were selling pretty well. And when I look at my store now, after being on Redbubble so much and talking about it and designing for it for my videos, I really do, I have like 12 niches on it and um, um, I need to find a way to market all of them. I also think that the problem was like, I wrote down why I didn't meet my goals and maybe the problem was too many videos. And I don't know if the problem was too many videos, or more the lack of schedule that I have, which is why for this month I completely flat out posted a schedule and I'm gonna try and keep it up and I'm gonna leave a link down below to the schedule video so you can see what day I'm gonna be posting what video. 
And now moving on to March goals. But before that, I want to reference something that someone commented on one of my videos, as well as some messages that I got on Instagram, which is to make a video that shows like a monthly process of building up an Etsy store and marketing it and what I've done with it and the success I've had with it. The thing is, I don't have a month for that. I mean, in the next month, I think that I have maybe 12 days that I'm not working on this channel. And on those 12 days, I have to work with clients, I have to work on my affiliate blogs, and I do wanna do something with Etsy as well as Society6 because I'm back on Society6 and we're gonna talk about this in a few minutes. So I'm not gonna have a video of me throwing myself in on Etsy for a full month and seeing what comes of it because I just don't have that month. So I'm sorry to all of you who asked, but it's just super not realistic for me. I do think that in a lot of ways, when you have the time to sit in, because I've seen friends of mine who got fired or had their places of work shut down because of coronavirus, and they threw themselves on Etsy. This became, like they went from a normal job to not doing anything all day, and they threw themselves at Etsy. And they were posting every day and they were uploading every day they were making different art every day they were posting on instagram on facebook on twitter on red on on reddit on pinterest they were just all over the place and they have seen success and i i salute each and every one of them you guys are amazing but the thing is that i really don't have 12 hours a day or 10 hours a day to do it i have for etsy i have pretty much i don't know two hours a week, maybe. So this is not gonna be one of my videos. Another thing that I wanna say before I'm moving on to March goals is that I know that a lot of people were asking me about my system of marketing and the fact that I have my own blogs and I'm looking into maybe giving you guys a video on how to open your own website for free to support your Redbubble or Society6 or Etsy store. So let me know if this is something that will interest you guys. And now for my March goals. So my first goal is to do the 14 videos that I scheduled myself to do. And I'm still waiting for you guys to give me suggestions for two more videos. There will be a link down below where you can go in and make a suggestion as to what you want me to make a video about. That would be awesome. The second goal I wanted to write down subscribers goal, but as I was talking to my best friend last night, I was like, I don't care. I don't care if I reach 600 subscribers or a thousand or if it's going to say 400, like because the people that are following me right now, that are subscribed, that are commenting. This has been so much fun and you guys are awesome. And I really don't mind if the channel grows or not. And I don't think that this has become a goal for me anymore. I think that I will start looking into that maybe a few months later on down the road because right now I don't care how many people are subscribed. Like I, I don't have a specific goal that I want to meet. My third goal for the month, and remember that this month is not just for March. This is me building up for 2022. So my third goal of the month would be to reduce the amount of time I spend on Facebook. It's been weird. I mean, I've been posting in some groups some of my videos and I think I'm going to stop with that because I've been getting so many people who contact me and want my help. And the thing is that I can really see a difference between the people who contact me for help on Redbubble or Society6 or Etsy. I can see a difference from the people who contact me on Facebook and the people who contact me for my YouTube channel because the people who contact me for my YouTube channel are usually artists, graphic designers, illustrators, and they wanna know how they can do better or how they can do their marketing better. They want more advice on tweaking their items. And the majority of the people who approach me on Facebook want me to tell them what are the trending keywords because they need to make money today and they can't pay rent because they live in a third world country and their kids are hungry and please, 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 me, please, please help me and they are sending me 50, 60 photos of their artworks and begging me to give them my advice. And, and I tried, I tried helping. I stopped everything that I was doing and I looked at 50 designs of a person that I don't know. And I saw that they're making basically the same mistakes in all the designs, which is exactly what I said in the previous video. And after 20 minutes of trying to explain to them 
what they're doing wrong and what they can do better. I got sweared at, I got cursed. Uh, I've had people telling me that I have no right to judge them because I am a white privileged, privileged American, which I'm not by the way, or all kinds of that. And I honestly felt like I'm, I'm falling into this trap all the time of, and I, I I, I would say something that isn't popular. I don't think these people should be on red level. I think that people who say that because their native language isn't English, it's okay to have grammar mistakes in their designs shouldn't be on any platform that sells anything. I mean, I know a lot of people whose native language isn't English, and when they design something in English, they make sure that it's correct. The same way that if I wanted to write something in Hebrew, which is technically not my first language, and I do have a lot of mistakes in it, if I wanted to submit something formal in Hebrew, if I wanted to make sure that it's good for sales, I would have someone with better Hebrew than me check it. So uh, I really don't think that Redbubble is a place for people who think that they can just go to Pixabay, take a bunch of photos and just upload it, or people who think that this is a platform where you can make money tomorrow. So I am going to reduce the amount of time I spend on Facebook because it's been super time consuming and to be honest, kind of mentally challenging. So. Um, I'm laying off Facebook for a bit. I really do prefer YouTube and Instagram at this point. My fourth goal of the month is actually an Etsy goal. And I know that I said I don't want to, you know, throw myself at Etsy and I don't have time. And I really don't have time. I don't have time to market it. I'm not going to open an Instagram account for Etsy. I'm not going to do, you know, the correct things. Not at this point. But what I am going to do and my fourth goal for the month of March would be to increase the number of listings that I do have on my Etsy store. I currently have 14 listings that combine wall art and greeting cards, all printables, and I want to make it 40. So I want to add 26 more listings in the month of March. And it's mostly going to be cards for Mother's Day, which is the UK Mother's Day is on the 14th of this month. And it's going to be cards for St. Patrick's Day and it's going to be cards for Easter. So most of my designs are going to be printable cards because this specific goal of designing more printable wall art and printable greeting cards goes well with my schedule on YouTube for showing people how to make and sell greeting cards. I mean, the process of making the card is already going to be in the video. So this is how I want to combine it. So the fourth goal is to add 26 more listings to my Etsy shop and reach 20 and reach 40. My fifth goal is about Society6. I know that so many people from Redbubble hate Society6 and I've seen a lot of videos that are showing the cons of Society6 versus Redbubble. And to be honest, I find that most of the cons that people think about Society6 are actually pros because if you look at it this way, if what you want to do on Redbubble is to design t-shirts and scale them up, and by scale, I mean like tweak them and change them. For example, um, you won't believe I'm 40 because I look like I'm 20. So you can write down 39, you can write down 38, you can write down 50 and basically take the concept and graphics of this design and create, I don't know, 40 different types of t-shirts or people who say uh, straight out of lockdown and they design it in like 12 different colors. So this is not really my style. And I get that people who do that, they will find their place on Redbubble and on Amazon. But if they wanted to do something like this with Society6, the process of upload would probably break them down because uploading to Society6 is nuts. I showed in my, in, in my mistakes videos how people take a photograph of, uh, of, I think it was the Eiffel Tower or a bridge of some sort, and they put it on a blanket. So if you upload the file onto Redbubble and it's too small for the product, so the product is going to be an inactive, but you can still enable it and, and, and leave the white margins behind it. You can't do this with Society6, which is why the process of uploading takes so much more time. And so the people who are focused on creating funny and cool stuff that will sell on t-shirts, I don't think they want to be on Society6. I really do think that in, in this process, in the past few years, Society6 remained a place for artists because their uploading process is so difficult and so tedious. And they and people say, oh, but Society6 doesn't promote and market as much as Redbubble does. And again, I find it as a plus because I want to use Society6 as a tool. I don't want to open a Shopify store yet. 
and and have the hassle with working with print and demand suppliers and contact my my customers i don't want to do that i want to start a shop i want to have products to market because i want to build up my portfolio and i want to build on my followers and i'm using society six as a tool to do that and my goal for this month would be to really built back my profile there because I've had a profile in Society6, I think I started in 2017. And at that point I was just designing a bunch of random stuff and uploading them. And the upload process was different too back then. And then I found out about Redbubble. So I kind of left Society6 behind and focused on Redbubble. And now because of this YouTube channel, because I'm going into Society6 and looking deep, more deeply into it, I deleted all of my works and I decided that I, I want to try and do something on Society6 that I wanted to do for a long time, which is to share my photography. I've been traveling for the past 10 years and I accumulated a nice amount of photos and I started uploading them to Society6 and I opened, I think it was two days ago, I opened an Instagram account just for my photography because First of all, I want to have an Instagram account for my photography and uploading stuff to Society6 in the background while I'm doing other things doesn't really take much time for me because I don't just sit and upload to Society6. I sit and I upload to different types of places and sort of juggle between them. So it's, it's a good practice for me. And I'm going to leave a link down below if you guys want to check out the new Instagram for photography. I think it has like six posts. I'm, I'm really just starting it now with barely time to do anything and my sixth goal which has nothing to do with uh, passive income but more with my physical health because i feel like someone took out one of my vertebras between my shoulders and just tear it outside um i i want to reach the point where i practice tai chi every single day for this month so so we have 31 days of March and I want to do Tai Chi in each and every one of those days. I started practicing Tai Chi when I was, I think it was the seventh grade when I learned Tai Chi as a martial art for two years. This has been extremely harsh, like training, you know, two hours a day. And this is by far not what I plan on doing today. But for now, I'm back with doing Tai Chi for the past few years. And I've been doing, you know, every other day or twice a week, uh, five minutes here, seven minutes there. So I want to do eight minutes a day, every day till the end of the month, because it really does help me, especially with my shoulders and the strains of working in front of a computer for so many hours a day. So to sum up, I want to achieve 14 videos on the schedule, not just 14 videos. I want them to be the videos that I promised on the dates that I promised. I don't have a subscriber's goal, so if you guys want to subscribe to my channel, do it. If you don't, don't do it. It's okay. I want to reduce the amount of time that I spend on Facebook trying to help people who don't really want my help, who want someone to give them keywords or stuff like that. That's really not my style. I want to go from 14 listings on my Etsy shop to 40 listings with zero marketing. By the way, if I do that and someone's going to buy, I'm going to let you know. And my fifth goal is to upload more of my photography to Society6 and work on my Instagram photography account. And the sixth goal is to do Tai Chi daily for the next 31 days for at least eight minutes a day. And that is it. Let me know what you guys thought about my goals. Do you have your goals for March? Did you meet your goals for February? Let's have a chat about this because I do love chatting with you guys. It's been so much fun and I can't even say that enough. I will see you guys in three days in my Why Are Your Redbubble Products Not Selling? Part 2 video, which will talk about marketing and mindset mistakes. And that's it. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button because every time you like one of my videos, YouTube thinks, hey, this is a cool video. I'm going to show it to more people. And of course, subscribe if you feel like it, don't if you don't, and comment whatever ideas you have. I'm going to leave a link down below to my previous video with the March schedule where you can comment if you want me to design your cover photo, or you can comment with video suggestions for the videos I'm going to do on the 26th and the 29th of the month. 
please also let me know if you're interested in me making a video on how to build a website for free to support your Redbubble or Society6 product. And that's it. I'm going to go now because I have so much work to do. So I'm going to go and you guys are going to go and we're going to have a beautiful March and we're all going to make a lot of money. And that's it from me for today. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.